Um, <clears throat> I'm making a knife sheath for that knife. Oh, uh, you would not believe, you would not believe how sharp this knife got. I'm just amazed. It's, you know, impossible to work with this steel. But, uh, my God, when I finally got an edge on it, it's just razor sharp. I've never gotten a, a knife this sharp. Anyway, I'm making a sheath. And, uh, I'm going to... I, I went to the class yesterday, today's Sunday, this, uh, the 8th, and I went to that class yesterday, and they showed us basic stamping and uh, the basic tools you would use on leather, and uh, let us let me show you, I'll show you my project, don't laugh. <laughs> they taught us shading and uh, how to make these lines. And then the, uh, the, the, this is a bruising tool, and I forget what these are called, but you cut a line, and then you go back and you stamp it down. It's, it's very interesting, very interesting. And uh, I could really get into that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do a basket weave pattern on this. This is what I've got starting out, and uh, I'll show you what I got when I get it done. Well, I made a lot of mistakes. And uh, I've learned. I've learned to take a break because, uh, y'all know, I, I broke this thumb a few years back and I never did get it fixed right. And uh, I had to keep working, so I just sort of fixed it myself. <laughs> well, I had to have surgery on it. And that was a couple of years ago, and for about three months, it felt like it was going to be all right. And then, after that, it just got worse than it was before I had the surgery. So, sometimes this thumb is weak as a kitten. And, uh, this is exactly what it doesn't like doing, is holding things like that. So, I'm going to have to take breaks. Uh, another thing, when you get off a little bit when you go just a little awry up here you're going to be a whole lot awry <laughs> down here so uh if the people that just love pointing out mistakes have made it this far in the video i already know that i've made a pile of mistakes this is the first time i've ever done a basket weave and the second time i've ever stamped leather this is the first time here so, uh, it's still wet. It's why you're looking at the, the different shade there. It's still a little wet. But, I tell you, uh, for my first one ever, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied because I've already learned several things. And this is not so terrible. It's better than bare leather, blank leather. And, uh, when I put some dye on this and rub it off, it might really... What are that? What's that word? It'll pop. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right, I enjoyed doing that. <clears throat> I'm going to let it dry, and I'm going to put these together. And, uh, and then I will have a knife, I mean, uh, a sheath for my first BC truck knife. Okay, see you in a little while. I'll uh, let this dry and get it glued up and uh, start knocking holes in around it for stitching. And then trim it, shape it. Uh, i got to scrape the pen marks off. But that I can do that, and then uh, shape this up here. Cut a couple of belt slots in it, and we're good to go. See you in a little while. Well, let's come by in a video. Uh, I just finished stamping that leather. I'm letting it dry, and I decided to come do a simple meal for a lousy cook. And here's what I'm doing. I use this a whole bag. I used a whole link of uh, smoked sausage. Um, put the frozen vegetables in. A couple glugs of teriyaki sauce. A couple gurgles of soy sauce. I'm going to let this uh, simmer for a little while. Because these were frozen. And then uh, I'm going to put the sausage in there. Put the lid on. Let all these... Vegetables and the sausage get to know each other for a while 
<clears throat> I'll show you what it looks like. Looks good. Smells good. Oh yeah. Yep. That is a good combination. Good flavor. Simple to make. Okay. Back to the leather sheath. All right. I've got it uh, stuck together with some rubber cement. And uh, I'm going to take it out to my bandsaw and trim these edges up real nice. Make them all square, square plumb and level. And then I don't know whether I'm going to use a uh, latigo or try and sew this. So if I do sew it, I'm gonna drill a little, uh, oh, 330 second hole size drill holes all down here. And then I'll shape this, cut me some belt slots. First, I gotta get the ink out of there. And I think I'm gonna dye this before I sew it. That way, uh, what happened before, I I dyed it and then, no, 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 I, I, I cut my holes for lace. Here, I think this is, yeah, this is it right here. Cut my holes and then laced it and then dyed it afterward and I couldn't get the dye up under here. So, uh, see everything, you know, nothing I do is perfect. But uh, every time I do one, I learn a little bit, you know, and this, I'm sure all this information is on the internet, but some stuff I just got to put my hands on and get dirty and do it. And uh, I learn better that way. This is why I haven't got my hand license yet. I, uh, I just can't learn by reading something or watching somebody else do it. I got to put my hands on stuff to learn it. It's been that way all my life. And anyway, uh... So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dye this. I'm going to trim it. And then dye it. And then drill my holes. And uh, cut this. Okay, we'll see when I get, get something different to show you. Well, uh, I trimmed this out on my bandsaw. And I uh, was able to scrape most of the ink off of there. I'm hoping when I hit this with dye... Uh, it, you, it might <laughs> color them, cover them lines up. I shouldn't have done that, but again, this is just a learning process. Got to start somewhere. So uh, now I'm going to sew this, but uh, what I'm going to do is go all the way around here with uh, my uh, three thirty seconds drill bit, so I can sew down through here real easy. Let me get that done. I lied. Uh, I'm using this punch here. I've got a couple of rivets at the uh, critical points. And now I'm going to go up this side with the holes. And then I'm going to stain it. Okay, I've got the holes done. And now what I'm going to do is take uh, another hole cutter. I'm going to do two holes here, 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 and here, and then I'm going to slice in between each hole to make the, the belt loops. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to slide the knife down in here first and get a good idea where the belt loop should be. I want the belt loops to be right behind the handle of the knife. So uh, let me get that in there, and uh, I'll get my holes knocked in and my slots cut and I'll, you'll see what I did and the reason you do these holes down here and then you, and then you cut from the hole to the other hole is so uh, the leather doesn't tear okay now we're gonna stain you see what the holes are for now I'm gonna stain it and then sew it I don't know what kind of stitch I'm going to use. I'm going to get online and look at stitches. Uh, I thought that stitches were going to be uh, what 
Tandy, the class Tandy was giving. I thought it was going to be stitches, but it turned out it was tools, which is good because I needed to learn how to use tools too. But uh, stitches is something I really need to work on. I only know a couple of stitches and I don't even know what they're called. They're just, you know, there's this. That's not even a stitch. That's just kind of lacing it up. And then there's this. I don't know what kind of stitch that is, or it's a, or if it's e even a stitch. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this time I'm going to get online and see if there's a particular stitch that would be really sturdy for this. All right, staining it, stitching it. We'll be back. Or as Murray Mayhem says, more to come, y'all. Well, with each one I make, I get a little better. Um, I'm kind of happy with that. I did not burnish the edges. Not yet. I will. But, uh, boy, does that look nice with that color. I love that handle. And you would not believe how sharp this thing came. I think I already mentioned that. But, uh, unbelievably sharp. Let me put this back in there. One second. Sorry. You got to go. Okay. Is it, is it all the way in? Yeah. Okay. My very first knife and uh, the first knife, first sheath that I was, uh, you know, seriously put a lot of effort into to make look nice. And the basket weave... You know, you look close, you can see an awful lot of mistakes. But if you close one eye, <laughs> if you close one eye completely and squint with the other, you'd never, uh, never see the mistakes. But for a first one, first knife, uh, first sheath I've put any, you know, real effort into, uh, I'm happy with it. So uh, I'm going to put this video up. Thanks for watching. And if you try that... Uh, recipe i'll tell you what i ate that whole plate it was delicious but you know what would have made it even better is uh to have put that over some rice that would have been really good but i hate cooking rice because it never comes out right thanks for watching y'all okay i'm i'm going to show you this but it's going to be real quick because if i put this light on them they'll get excited and want to play sunny has got her head resting on top of lucy's head here we go <laughs> you dogs <laughs> you are some funny funny dogs I'll tell you what I gotta get a picture of that <laughs>